Well, good morning and welcome to day, uh, day 19 um, of Lent. I just wanted to reflect a bit today on why we uh, are doing what we're doing you know, right at the deepest uh, level. I was talking the other day uh, about the Fair Trade Foundation and the Ethical Tea Partnership which the major tea companies are setting up um, to use instead of the Fair Trade Foundation in order to improve conditions, wages, etc., on the plantations that they use around the world. And I couldn't quite see the difference. Um, and what's uh, become clear to me that um, I want to show on this diagram is what I think the difference is. You may not be able to read this, but this is the Fair Trade Foundation and it's between the manufacturer and distributor of whatever product it is and the producers and the fair trade foundation was set up independently and so therefore independently verifies the conditions of the producers uh, before it gets to the manufacturers and so there is pretty much um, a level playing field there's an equality of power even if it isn't really entirely there, it is the destination, it's what it's intended to be. Whereas in the Ethical Tea Partnership, which was set up by the tea companies, you still have this downward model of tea companies, Ethical Tea Partnership and producer. And although they're doing some good for the producer, um, it's not aiming, I don't think, for the sort of equality of power that the Fair Trade Foundation model is aiming at. And I think that's the thing we need to be aware of when we're trying to change an attitude towards a product like plastic. Because the reality is that somebody out there is making a lot of money out of plastic. Lots of people probably are making lots of money out of plastic and therefore will be resistant to change and the reason they're resistant to change and the reason that the tea companies are resistant to share some of their power is because it's in their ethos it's in their as a, a theologian walter wink would say it's in their angel that was created when the company was created it's in the way they operate is to maintain power and remain uh, paternalistic towards their producers rather than share power on the fair trade foundation model. And so what we are doing in resisting this and trying to avoid plastic is we are being prophetic. We are resisting the powers and principalities both of the earth and in the spiritual realm that keep the producers and the poor of the world powerless. And this has an effect when we stand up and we are prophetic because St Paul writes in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 3 and verse 10, talking about God, his intent was that now through the church, that's the believers, not the institution, but through the believers, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known. So the wisdom of God is to love and care for the planet and the people. The manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. Our actions are noticed and potentially influence the powers and authorities in the spiritual realm which can change the ethos or the angel of the companies that are exploiting or have exploited the producers. So every time we resist plastic because of what it's doing to the environment we are prophetically telling the powers and principalities that they should come in line with God's will, that the planet should not be exploited and neither should the people in it.
So, let's ponder on that one. <laughs>